Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, SpaceX confirms Demo 2 manned launch date, the 2020 Arlington fly-in is cancelled, and Lindbergh Innovation Forum presents Fireside Talks. Happy Monday and welcome to the show. I'm Sophie Herlock. SpaceX and NASA are targeting May 27th for Falcon 9's launch of Crew Dragon's second demonstration mission from Launch Complex 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. NASA astronauts Bob Benkin and Doug Hurley will be the first two NASA astronauts to fly aboard the Dragon spacecraft as part of the Demo 2 mission to and from the International Space Station. The Falcon 9 launch vehicle and crew Dragon spacecraft that will support Demo 2 are on site at SpaceX's facilities in Florida to mark the return of human spaceflight on American rockets from American soil. NASA has revived their worm logo for Demo 2. In preparation for Demo 2, SpaceX has completed a number of major milestones for NASA's commercial crew program. In March of 2019, SpaceX completed an end-to-end -end test flight of Crew Dragon without NASA astronauts on board, making Dragon the first American spacecraft to autonomously dock with the International Space Station and safely return to Earth. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back. It's time for today's trip around the patch. The International World Games Association and the Birmingham Organizing Committee announced the next edition of the World Games, which includes drone racing and parachuting canopy piloting, has been moved from 2021 to 2022. This change follows the IOC's decision to reschedule the Tokyo Olympic Games to 2021. The BOC stated keeping the original dates in July of 2021 would have meant excluding many athletes and officials involved in the Olympics and would have led to a potential reduction in public and media interest. Secretary of Transportation Elaine Chao awarded $10 billion to commercial and general aviation airports from the Trump administration's Coronavirus Aid, Relief, and Economic Security Act airport grant program. The money will help fund the continued operations of America's airports and will provide immediate relief to American families and workers during this crisis. Starting today, Air Canada is making its recommended face covering practice mandatory as an additional safeguard for its customers and crew. This requirement will apply to customers at various points in Canadian airports, during the boarding process, and during flight where social distancing is not possible. This requirement follows a directive issued by the Minister of Transport requiring travelers to wear protective face coverings at various stages of their air travel journey. Vans recently made a small addition to every RV tail in a pen-inch kit they ship. They're now including their OP-51 Sheet Metal Basics Kit, a small and practical learning exercise customers can use to practice and develop their skills before building the actual tail kit. However, this kit does not replace their more advanced practice kits, such as the toolbox, light sign, or practice air foil. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. Due to concerns surrounding the coronavirus pandemic, the 2020 Arlington Fly-In, originally scheduled for August 14th through the 16th, has been canceled, and organizers are now focusing their attention to planning the 2021 event. Last Thursday, this statement was posted onto the event's website. Due to the worldwide public safety and economic uncertainties of the COVID-19 crisis, and to protect our guests and volunteers, the 2020 Arlington Fly-In is canceled. The event that was scheduled for August 14th through the 16th will not occur, and instead we will shift our plan into the 2021 event. If you have purchased tickets for 2020, your passes will automatically roll over to the 2021 event without any action on your part. 
This includes specific camping space assignments. If you have other questions, please visit our frequently asked questions page. Vendors and sponsors will similarly have their options automatically extended to our 2021 event. The Arlington Fly and Board of Directors wishes to thank all of our sponsors customers, and especially our volunteers, as we adapt our organization to a rapidly changing environment. We hope everyone remains safe and healthy, and we are moving forward in 2021, August 13th through the 15th. The Lindbergh Innovation Forum, a global platform to showcase breakthrough innovation in aviation, will be hosting fireside talks with Eric Lindbergh, a series of online, live-streamed, open and collaborative panel discussions with industry leaders. The first event on Earth Day, April 22nd, will be on strategies for innovative aerospace startups to navigate these disruptive times. The event will be live streamed at Lindbergh.Aero from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. Pacific Time, 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern Time, and 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time. It will feature Richard Kane, CEO of Verijet, and Eric Barched, CEO of Vertigo Aero. These events are open to the general public, and the audience will have the ability to post questions that Lindbergh may then direct to the guests. And that wraps up our show for today. We appreciate you tuning in. Please subscribe and check us out on Facebook and on Twitter. For more aviation and aerospace news any time of the day, head over to aero-news.net. I'll see you right back here Wednesday for an episode of Airborne Flight Training.